വെൽക്കം ടു എ ടി സി എം ഡെമറൻസ് മെഡിസിൻ ചാനൽ എയ്റ്റി ത്രീ ഇയർ ഓൾഡ് ഫീമെയിൽ പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് ടു അവർ ഇയർ വിത്ത് എ ഹിസ്റ്ററി ഓഫ് ഡിക്രീസ് റെസ്പോൺസ് ആൻഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റി സിൻസ് ത്രീ ഡേയ്സ് ഓൺ ഇനിഷ്യൽ ടെൻ സെക്കൻഡ് അസസ്മെൻറ്റ് പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് വാസ് കോൺഷ്യസ് ബട്ട് നോട്ട് റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ഓൺ പ്രൈമറി സർവേ എയർവേ ദർ ഇസ് നോ പൂളിങ് ഓഫ് സെക്രേഷൻ നോ ഹോർസ്നെസ് ഓഫ് വോയ്സ് നോ സ്ട്രൈഡർ ബ്രീത്തിങ് വാട്ട് റെസ്പിറേറ്റ് റേറ്റ് എയ്റ്റീൻ പെർ മിനിറ്റ് സാച്ചുറേഷൻ നയൻറ്റി സെവൻ പെർസെൻറ്റ് റൂം എയർ ആൻഡ് ബയലാട്ടൽ ഈക്വൽ എയർ എൻട്രി കമ്മിങ് ടു സർക്കുലേഷൻ ബി പി എസ് വൺ ഫിഫ്റ്റി നയൻറ്റി വിത്ത് ഹാർട്ട് റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റി എയ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓട്ട് പെരിഫറൽ പൾസ് ആർ പാൽപ്പബിൾ കമ്മിങ് ടു ഡിസബിലിറ്റി ജി സി എസ് ഇ ത്രീ വി വൺ എം ഫോർ വിത്ത് പീപ്പിൾസ് ബയോലറ്റൽ ഈക്വൽ റിയാക്റ്റീവ് ടു ലൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് അറ്റ് ദ ടൈം ജി ആർ ബി എസ് സിക്സ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫോർ സോ വി പുട്ട് ടു ഐ യുവർ കാനുല ആൻഡ് കറക്റ്റ് അറ്റ് ദ ഷുഗർ വിത്ത് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഡെക്സ്ട്രോസ് ആൻഡ് വി പുട്ട് മെയിൻറ്റെനൻസ് ഡി എൻ എസ് ഹോൾസോ എക്സ്പോഷർ വാട്ട് ടെമ്പറേച്ചർ നയൻറ്റി ടു പോയിൻറ്റ് ടു സെവൻ അഡ്വാൻസ് ടു പ്രൈമറി സർവേ വി ബി ജി പി എച്ച് ഷോയിങ് സെവൻ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫൈവ് പി സി ഒ ടു തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ബൈ കാർബണേറ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ വിത്ത് ഇലക്ട്രോലൈറ്റ്സ് സോഡിയം വൺ നോട്ട് എയ്റ്റ് ഇൻ പൊട്ടാസിയം ത്രീ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫൈവ് ക്രിയേറ്റിൻ നോർമൽ സർ പോയിൻറ്റ് നയൻ ലാക്ടേറ്റ് വൺ പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ സർ സോഡിയം വാസ് സോഡിയം വൺ വി ബി ജി വൺ നോട്ട് വൺ നോട്ട് എയ്റ്റ് ഓക്കെ then uh, we re- recheck the grbs it becomes uh, 110 mg per liter mm. then we send lab uh, means vbg showing uh, 108 sodium mm. we will send sodium workup mm. and routine investigation sodium mm. workup we send serum sodium mm. serum osmolality mm. uh, urine sodium and uh, urine osmolality okay. and routine investigations and urine routine uh, mm. total count of insurance and okay. we'll take an ecg ecg showing normal sinus rhythm sir okay coming to uh, sample history okay. 83 year old female patient non case of diabetic parkinsonism cad hypertensive presented to er with a history of decreased response and activity since 3 days which was progressively worsening uh, on coming to er by standard noticed an episode of tonic clonic movements bilateral upper limb and lower limb lasting less than 1 minute mm. associated with tongue bite uprolling of eyes mm. uh, frothing then the bystanders take the patient to our er there is no history of bowel blood incontinence no history of fever no history of trauma uh, there is no history of irrelevant talk or altered behavior uh, patient any, any history of seizures in the past no sir first episode okay patient had uh, and patient had history of irrelevant talk and altered behavior two days back mm-hmm. and patient had a history of decreased food intake since two weeks mm-hmm. uh, and there is no known drug allergies and medical history patient was on tab glimipride a cosperin uh, telmach glimipride 2 mg not uh, 2 mg <coughs> okay. there is no similar history in the past mm-hmm. any recently they have increased the dose of uh, ohs or uh, she was on no, the same oh uh, same so. okay on systemic examination okay. uh, cns system patient was conscious but not responding mm. tone and bulk was normal reflex are normal there is no signs of mental irritation uh, cranial nerves are normal sir mm. and other system within normal limits sir mm. no next fitness mm. no next fitness no mental irritation mm. so we send lab mm. work up uh, serum sodium 109 mm. osmolality of blood 227 mm. urine sodium 28 mm. and uh, osmolality of urine is 227 mm. okay so um, uh, so here uh, we uh, the patient had seizure like activity at home right at home sir so uh, suppose if the patient is having active seizure in ed how will you manage the patient like initial management initial management with active seizure we will uh, first uh, make the patient in left lateral uh, position and we give oxygen supplement immediately okay then it's a non case of seizure and patient don seizing mm. we will give injection mm. uh, car midazolam lorazepam okay uh, im if iv can is, is there we can put I, iv or we put uh, im we can give okay. 2 mg okay. Okay. okay so uh, uh, so this patient presented to ed with uh, altered sensorium right gc was around 10 by 15 uh, uh, e3 v1 m4 so okay, okay. so uh, what all are the differential diagnosis for a patient presenting with altered sensorium to ed 
ആർട്ടേഡ് സെൻസോറിയം ഇനീഷ്യലി വി ലുക്ക് ഓൺ ജി ആർ ബി എസ് ഇമ്പാലൻസ് Uh, then if there is fever history also we suspect uh, meningitis or encephalitis mm. uh, and any stroke mm. uh, cva ic bleed mm. Mm. trauma history mm. uh, drugs history drug overdose drug overdose especially what what drugs like sedatives or sedative intoxication and psychotic medications okay other dr- other like alcohol intoxication, intoxication. Like. yes yes so um, and uh, uh any other other deities like encephalopathies yes no, sir uh, like fever also will be there we will suspect so brain delirium uh, can be sepsis there sepsis encephalopathy septic encephalopathy any source of sepsis is there mm. and uh, uremic encephalopathy mm. hepatic mm. encephalopathy mm. and co2 narcosis mm. and hypoxia hypoxia can also present with sometimes with altered sensory right so um here grbs was 44, 44. initial every year grbs is 44 44 okay so what do you think the cause why why would he develop hypoglycemia uh, <clears throat> most commonly patient had history wise patient had decreased food intake uh, since 2 weeks since 2 days he is having since 2 dec- weeks he decreased 2 weeks he is having decreased but they are giving the medication as regularly they give the medication so they have continued giving prep to mg okay. sometime drug overdose mm. or so uh, decrease food intake yeah. alcohol, and sir. he was also having a, a sepsis common uh, fever was there no fever was he was suspecting uh, source is source of infection is the while you send the urine routine urine routine pustules is numerous and oh. bacteria is four plus okay so you are suspecting uti we mm-hmm. are suspecting uti that is the added common so mm-hmm. there is decrease food intake um, uti was there infection was there and uh, um and, and he is she is also limit pride mm-hmm. causing it is second of sulfonylurea is more common to cause hypoglycemia mm-hmm. Okay, so, okay. Also, so, so this is a cause of any other high risk patients who, who can develop hypoglycemia like CLD. chronic critically uh, ill patients like cld, CLD patients, patients uh, uh, taking on uh, more than oha insulins uh, with uh, uh, elevated creatinine also uh, uh, so creatinine more time clearance, clearance will be affected insulin clearance will be affected so they can go for hypoglycemia, hypoglycemia. right okay <coughs> anything else like hypoglycemia a patient with hypoglycemia you can also suspect insulinoma mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. current hypoglycemia okay so that needs to be evaluated okay so he had hypoglycemia mm-hmm. he had uh, uh, seizures. Uh, seizures and presented with the uh, altered sensory mm-hmm. right uh, on uh, evaluation we found that patient hypoglycemia also than hyponatremia also hyponatremia is true hyponatremia okay. so what is hypoglycemia normal sodium level is uh, 135 to 145 less than 130 we will call hyponatremia okay hyponatremia we can classify two types hmm. one is true hyponatremia and hmm. pseudo hyponatremia hmm. true hyponatremia hyponatremia with uh, low osmolality hmm. means uh, normal osmolality is 275 to 290 hmm. less than 275 hmm. and other is pseudo hyponatremia hmm. pseudo hyponatremia it is seen in seen in uh, pseudo hyponatremia with uh, hyponatremia with the normal osmolality mm. and hyper osmolality mm. normal osmolality seen in hyper triglyceridemia and okay. hyperproteinemia <laughs> hyper osmolality seen in hyperglycemia conditions okay okay so how will you calculate corrected sodium in hyperglycemia uh, hyperglycemia ah uh, hyperglycemia uh, hyper uh, every uh, 1.4 milli equivalent mm. deficit of sodium mm. uh, in every 100 milligram increase in mm. glucose okay okay so uh, Cor- uh, corrected sodium mm. uh, for correction mm. uh, we will use uh, desired sodium uh, minus uh, serum uh, sodium mm. uh, normally one day 20, within 24 hours we will correct sodium up to 8 to 12 milliequivalent mm. 10 to 12 milliequivalent okay uh, so the difference between that and uh, into point 6 into body weight okay so um, in hyperglycemia there can be hyperosmolal hy- hyperosmolality Hyperosmo- hy- uh, hyperosmolality there, uh, due to osmotic diuresis osmotic di- in hyperproteinemia and uh, hyperlipidemia there, there can be normal osmolality, uh, osmolality, osmolality with, uh, that is due to the serum water will be shif- replaced shifted by uh, displaced by proteins and uh, hyperlipidemia and uh, so we can also classify um, hyponatremia like uh, you volemic hyponatremia mm. hypovolemic hyponatremia and hypervolemic hyponatremia so what all are comes under again hypovolemic hyponatremia can be classified again into renal causes and non renal mm. causes 
what all are the renal causes of renal cause uh, <coughs> renal wasting syndrome cerebral uh, salt wasting syndrome csw and uh, sat loss nephropathies uh, nephropathies mm. any diuretic diuretics okay and non renal yes non renal causes of vomiting diarrhea mm. excessive sweating everything and okay okay so in uh, renal renal causes urine sodium will be high uh, more than 20 ml mm-hmm. so so um, what how will you treat the patient with hypovolemic hyponatremia hypovolemic hyponatremia we will correct the uh, volume and sodium uh, mm-hmm. we will correct with uh, oral intake if oh. patient is able to take fluid iv fluids uh, oral intake iv fluids with mm. correction of sodium also okay okay and uh, in uh, what about euvolemic hyponatremia uh euvolemic hyponatremia uh, that is uh, os- what uh, all are the conditions SADH, coming in sadh sadh hypothyroidism hypothyroidism glucocorticoid deficiency. deficiency so these are the common causes of euvolemic hyponatremia like so uh, so how will you treat a, what is sadh sadh syndrome of inappropriate secretion of okay. adh so uh, what exactly happening there it is excessive inappropriate secretion of uh, okay. adh uh, mm. and that causes hyponatremia which mm. is a, a true hyponatremia mm. uh, with uh, increase of urine sodium excretion which okay. is more than uh, 20 milliequivalent mm. with high urine osmolality okay but the if there is water retention also but mm. clinically patient is euvolemic yeah so uh, there won't be any features of pedal edema fluid overload but actually the water content is more compared to sodium so uh, what are the drugs common drugs causing sadh like uh, um, amitriptyline mm-hmm. can cause mm-hmm. ssri can SSRIs. cause like, uh, okay mm-hmm. and uh, what are the other causes of sadh like malignancy malignancy, malignancy. malignancy. Most, most common uh, 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 malignancy uh, small cell uh, carcinoma, carcinoma lung uh, uh, other brain infection uh, brain tumors uh, meningitis brain tumor stroke brain abscess cva and uh, coming to uh, infections uh, in lung is cystic small. fibrosis pneumonia viral pneumonia mm. viral pneumonia bacterial pneumonia and uh, any ga malignancies mm. like ca so like see your stomach duodenum everything and gentu urinary tract uh, ca prostate everything can cause is lead to sadh yes, okay <coughs> so what how will you treat a patient with sadh sadh is basically initially fluid restriction and uh, so them correction the main stay way of treatment is uh, we should so uh, restrict, restrict the water and uh, okay any role of vaptens uh role vaptens is there first of all we'll uh, correct the fluid intake then mm. if the sodium is urine sodium excretion more than 40 mm. milliequivalent we mm. can use with the toll vaptens mm. it is a adh receptor antagonist okay if the patient is symptomatic that is patient is having seizures or coma so we will give 3% as alone okay i okay. will treat more actively more actively so uh, what about hypervolemic hyponatremia when will you see hypervolemic hypervolemic hyponatremia seen in failures so mm. cardiac failure cardiac failure uh, renal, renal failure, failure uh, nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome mm. Okay. You know, their uh, water content is high mm. dilutional hyponatremia is there yeah. no need for correction it is because of the high mm. ecf volume mm. uh, patient clinically in lab wise there is hyponatremia so okay so uh, what are the common symptoms of hyponatremia Pa- how will the patient present with hyponatremia uh, initially like, mild hyponatremia causes uh, headache vomiting abdominal pain uh, anorexia and generalized effect. tiredness I can be a presentation headache generalized tiredness okay if sodium is less than 120 uh, little muscle cramps muscle pain leads uh, can seizures, seizures yes uh, coma, coma everything can happen so we should be more careful if the patient is sodium here the sodium was 109 109 okay so we have started work up okay. and urine sodium Two everything was there so we started on 3 percentage so so what are the complications of complications of uh, uh, th- starting with 3 percentage saline or sodium correction if, um, what is osmotic demyelination ah uh, sorry if you correct sodium with fast correction causes uh, yeah. osmotic demyelination syndrome it causes rapid correction of rapid sodium correction of can sodium. lead to uh, there Cross is a rapid correction brain barrier will be dam- uh, yeah. reception Otherwise, leading to uh, it will causes uh, reperson saline causes uh, intake of means fluid shift from the brain cells to ecf yes cell shrinkage will occur yes so uh, it can lead to spontaneous uh, myelinalysis so uh, the patient can have various different kind of presentation quadriparesis paraparesis anything can be the presentation dysarthria 
so these are the uh, complications of rapid correction mm-hmm. so while correcting the sodium we should repeat sodium every 6 uh, hour. hourly and we should keep on monitoring the patient clinically also how the patient is improving we should check okay so uh, and he, this patient had the uti also no ah yes sir okay. uh, urine routine pulses are numerous and bacteria 4 plus urine culture was negative mm. total count is 16000 crp is uh, 50 okay uh, any uh, after coming to the hospital he had for, she, he had further episodes of hypoglycemia or no, no, only mm. one episode uh, after giving 25% dextrose did the sensory improve Oh, uh, sensorium, initially it was E3V1, M4, then it becomes, you reassess it, it becomes E4, V2, M5. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. okay. At that time also patient, uh, initially patient was not responding. Mm. After half an hour, patient making abnormal sounds, inappropriate sounds, she is making. Now, then we started sodium correction. Mm. Now, this disease is improving, patient is mm. responding. CT was taken, CT brain was CT taken, patient had seizures. Uh, uh, uh. CT brain taken normal, sir. Normal. Okay. No space of space no, 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 nothing comes. Okay. So, uh, the patient had uh, hyponatremia, hypoglycemia and UTA, UTA also. So, sodium correction was given, right? Mm. And uh, UTA was treated. Mm. Uh, cultures were sent, right? Uh, cultures were sent. Uh, okay. so uh, ut was treated and uh, sugars were monitored mm. and uh, how is the patient now i know she is responding well uh, sodium sodium can occur sir okay okay anything else you want to add regarding mm. hyponatremia no, sir so uh, basically um, as an emergency physician we encounter more uh, so many cases every day with uh, patients presenting with altered sensorium okay so while dealing with a patient of altered sensorium you should have you should keep all differential diagnosis in mind whether it can be <coughs> very common cause like electrolyte imbalance hypoglycemia intoxication and it can be fibroid delirium especially in critically like old age people and all uh, encephalopathy is all causes you should keep in mind and um and you should act quickly if you are suspecting cva you should go ahead with the imaging further management and regarding hyponatremia you should be knowing um, when to correct hyponatremia when to not to correct hyponatremia and how to monitor the patient what all things to be and uh, instead of in, in instead of along with correcting sodium you should correct the cause of hyponatremia like if if the cause is due to glucocorticoid deficiency you should provide hydrocortisone milk or cortical deficiency fluid rotation should give if it is due to hypothyroidism causing hyponatremia should start on thyroxine or um, sadh the cause for sadh it can be due to sadh may be due to pneumonia so that pneumonia should you should treat that also so that's it anything else you want to add thank you